How's it going, people? We're almost done with Jacob. It's not much of a book, is it? All right. All right. Chapter 7. Final chapter of Jacob. There's about a dozen drinks in it. So, if I had scotch, I might might have taken a shot at that. But, I do have some beer left, so I'm going to try to finish Jacob. We'll be going to the community center tomorrow. Maybe I can upload a video or two. It doesn't take too long. And now, it came to pass. After some years had passed away, because it had come to pass, uh, there came a man among the people of Nephi whose name was Shirim. That's fascinating. Thanks for telling us. Ah, and it came to pass that he began to preach among the people and to declare among the people uh, uh, unto them that there should be no Christ. And he preached many things which were flattering unto the people, and this he did that he might overthrow the doctrine of Christ. That's what he was after. Nip it in the bud before it starts. I mean, got a almost a six hundred year head start on him. Yeah. Oh, that's for the last, the last chapter. <laughs> I had a drink and I didn't take it because <clears throat> I didn't have anything with me. Well, I did, but that doesn't count as a drink. All right. And he labored diligently that he might lead away the hearts of the people, insomuch that he did lead away many hearts. And, and he knowing that I, Jacob, had faith in Christ, who should come, he sought much opportunity that he might come unto me. And he was learned that he had a perfect knowledge of the language of the people. Which one? <laughs> Wherefore, he could use much flattery and much power of speech, according to the power of the devil. And he had hope to shake me from the faith notwithstanding the many revelations and the many things which I had seen concerning these things, for I had truly seen angels, and they had ministered unto me. And also I had heard the voice of the Lord speaking unto me, in his head, no doubt, uh, in very word, from time to time, wherefore, I could not be shaken. <coughs> and it came to pass that he came unto me and on this wise did he speak unto me, saying, Brother Jacob, I have sought much opportunity that I might speak unto you. God, they could have taken all that beginning out. That would have covered it. Uh, verse 
For I have heard and also know that thou goest about much preaching that which ye call the gospel or the doctrine of Christ. And ye have led away much of this people that they may pervert the right way of God and keep not the law of Moses, which is the right way and convert the law of Moses into the worship of a being which ye shall which ye say, ye say shall come uh, many hundred years hence a valid point and now behold I Shem declare unto you that this is blasphemy most people would agree for no man knoweth this uh, knoweth of such things, for he cannot tell of the things to come. He <laughs> and after this manner did Shurim contend against me. But behold, the Lord God poured in his spirit into my soul, <coughs> in so much that I did confound him in all his words. And I said unto him, Deniest thou the Christ who should come? <laughs> and he said, If there should be a Christ, I would not deny him, but I know that there is no Christ. Neither has been, neither has been nor ever will be. And I said unto him, Believeth thou the scriptures? And he said, Yes. And I said unto him, Then ye do not understand them. And you're not a true Scotsman. <laughs> for truly, for they truly testify of Christ. Behold, I say unto you that none of the prophets have uh, that none of the prophets have written nor prophesied save save they have spoken concerning this Christ. Now that's that's a bald faced lie, man. They talked about all kinds of things. I've read the prophets. And this is not all. It has been made manifest unto me, for I have heard and seen, and it also has been made manifest unto me by the power of the Holy Ghost. Wherefore I know of no, if there should be no atonement made, all mankind must be lost. And it came to pass that he said unto me, Show me a sign of this power of the Holy Ghost, in the which ye know so much. And I said unto him, What am I that I should tempt God to show unto thee a sign in the thing which thou knowest to be true? He doesn't know it to be true. Come on, show him a sign. Little miracle. Command a tree or a mountain to do something. Yet thou wilt deny it, because thou art of the devil. <laughs> Nevertheless, not my will be done, but if God shall smite thee, Let that be a sign unto thee that he has power. And also that Christ shall come. And thy will, O Lord, be done, and not mine. 
And it came to pass that when I, Jacob, had spoken these words, the power of the Lord came upon him, insomuch that he fell to the earth. And it came to pass that he was nourished for the space of many days. <coughs> And it came to pass that he said unto the people, Gather together on the morrow, <clears throat> for I shall die. Wherefore, I desire to speak <coughs> unto the people before I shall die. Now that's so believable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it came to pass that on the morrow the multitude were gathered together, and he spake plainly unto them, and, did not, and denied the things which he had taught them, and confessed the Christ, and the power of the Holy Ghost, and the ministering of angels. And he spake plainly unto them, and <coughs> he had that he had been deceived by the power of the devil. And he spake of hell and of eternity and of eternal punishment. And he said, I fear lest I have committed the unpardonable sin. For I have lied unto God. For I denied the Christ. And said that I believe the scriptures and that and they truly testify of him. They do, well. Not as good as this gold book. Of course this is all made believe make believe of. And because I have thus lied unto God, I have greatly fear, lest my case shall be awful, but I confess unto God. And it came to pass that when he said these words, he could say no more, and he gave up the ghost, the Holy Ghost, the unholy ghost, I don't know, his ghost, and he died. And when the multitude had witnessed that he spake these things as he was about to give up the ghost, that's a deathbed testimony, I mean. Airtight. Vacuous, even. <laughs> they were astonished exceedingly, insomuch that the power of God came down upon them. <coughs> there it is. Man, that tastes like meatloaf. Mm. Uh, and they were overcome that they fell to the earth. They fell to the earth. Uh, now, this thing was pleasing unto me, Jacob. I guess you're a prick like Nephi. <laughs> For I had requested it of, the, of my father, not Lehi, uh, you know, Sky Daddy. 
who was in heaven. See, Sky Daddy. And he had heard my cry and answered my prayer. You're so special, Jacob. We should throw a parade for you, Jacob. You're such a special boy. <sighs> and it came to pass that peace and the love of God was restored again among the people. And they searched the scriptures and hearkened no more to the words of this wicked man. He's broiling a nail right now. I'm sure. And it came to pass that many means were devised to reclaim and restore the Lamanites to the knowledge of the truth. But it, but it all was in vain. For they delighted in wars and bloodsheds, and they had an eternal hatred against us, their brethren, and they sought by the power of their arms to destroy us continually. Wherefore, the people of Nephi did fortify against them with their armies and with all their might, trusting in the God and the rock of their salvation. <coughs> Wherefore, they became as yet conquerors of their enemies. Hmm. And it came to pass that I, Jacob, began to be old. And the record of this people being kept on the other plates of Nephi. Wherefore, I conclude this record declaring that I have written according to the best of my knowledge by saying that the time passed away with us and also our lives passed away like as it were unto us a dream. Really? We, being a lonesome and solemn people, wanderers cast out from Jerusalem, born in tribulation in the wilderness, and hated of our brethren, which caused wars and contentions, wherefore we did mourn out our days. Pity party. And I, Jacob, saw that I must soon go down into my grave. Wherefore, I said unto my son, Enos, <coughs> you're next. No, um, actually, he isn't next. That's right. It's Jerome. Uh, J Jerome. Take these plates. And I told him the things which my brother Nephi had commanded me, and he promised obedience unto the commands. And I make an end of my writing upon these plates. You already said that. Hurry up and do it. Maybe you should have said it earlier, you know. <laughs> upon these plates, uh, which writing has been small, and to the reader I bid farewell, hoping that many of my brethren may read my words. Brethren, adieu. Wait a minute. Adieu. That's fucking French, isn't it? And you already said farewell in English. <sighs> All right, that's it for Jacob. I'll see you in... Uh, Whatever the fuck other book that was, I said it was. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Huh? Anyway, I'm on to another book, and maybe I'll go play in the snow again and read the first 
chapter of the next book. So anyway, I hope you're all having fun and and then making time to watch this. <laughs> Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is.